Hey, today we're going to be talking about the three things you need to do before applying your wig. Now, it is no, um, I guess, surprise that uh, African American women, they make up the majority of the buying when it comes to wigs and extensions. And as a hair growth consultant, aka a hair and scalp specialist, women seek me out for my expertise to show them how to care for their hair so that it's not damaged from wigs and extension. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Precious Rutland. I am a hair growth consultant and I teach women of color how to heal and grow their hair using holistic remedies so that they can wear their natural hair proudly. So we are a luxury and texture and hair growth restoration company where we bridge the gap between Western medicine and women who have either lost their hair or they're just ready to take a natural approach to their hair, meaning no more chemicals, no more pills or supplements that aren't working. And they're ready to truly heal their hair from the inside out. And what I've found in my 26 years in working in the hair industry is that women of color have been taught that their hair isn't beautiful. They fall out of love with it, which in turn, they fall out of love with themselves or their self-esteem and their confidence is hindered. And so I'm bridging that gap and bringing back that education to women and teaching them about their hair so that they can begin to not only love their hair, but also to love themselves again and really uh, you know, be confident in who they are. And in order to be confident, you know, you really want to have uh, great healthy hair because again our hair is like our identity that's how a lot of women identify um, with their cells so I, I noticed as I'm working in the industry and working with clients uh, I've noticed that just because you're wearing your wig as a protective style for your hair so it doesn't get damaged that doesn't necessarily mean that your hair is going to be healthy. And your hair is a barometer of your health. So if you look at your hair, your skin, your nails, they are the fastest replicating cells in your body. And if you don't have good replicating cells, then it's definitely going to show up in those places, your hair, your skin, you're definitely gonna be able to tell. And I know what it's like if you're struggling, maintaining two different textures of hair, especially when you're transitioning, saying that you're you know, coming out of, of relaxers, when you know, you're letting go of the chemicals, or you may um, not be going to your stylist as of much uh, lately, you know, for instance, due to the pandemic, and you're going to have to be taking care of your hair at home a little more often. And, you know, the ultimate goal is that you want uh, beautiful, healthy hair, healthy hair, meaning that you want that, that shine, that bounce, um, that dark, rich color. And of course, that is not shedding, it's not breaking but you know you're actually retaining the width and that it's just healthy and it's growing and flourishing but in order to have that while you're transitioning I want to be, make sure that you have the proper uh, foundation so that your hair has everything that it needs before you even start venturing off into the world of wigs. And with that, number one, you want to make sure that you have good circulation throughout your body. Circulation is going to ensure that the nutrients within your blood that is getting to your scalp. So if your, your heart is healthy, your arteries, your lungs, 
all of that is in great condition, then the blood is going to be able to go throughout your body. Now, if you're having um, illnesses and your body isn't able to function and do what it needs to do and get the nutrients that your hair is going to need and get those nutrients to your hair cells, then your hair isn't going to have the nutrients that it needs in those cells. And then that's when you in turn start to see the dry, brittle hair, it's breaking off because your hair cells, before they even came out, what we physically see, they didn't have the nutrients that they needed uh, on the inside, which leads me to number two, is that you have to have a healthy diet. So as I mentioned before, your hair, skin, and nails, they're the fastest replicating cells on the body and so they replicate very quickly and if the nutrition isn't there if it's poor you're not eating right you're crash dieting you're not eating for your body type uh, you're not having the building blocks that your body needs which is the, the vitamins the minerals the amino acids uh, that you're going to end up seeing the damaged hair. So that is what you're experiencing right now if you don't have that, if you're seeing that right now. And that is what's leading to eventually the hair thinning and the hair loss. And third, but not least, you want to have uh, a hair care regimen. Having the right hair care regimen is going, meaning that you have the right products for your hair to nourish your hair on the outside you're going to have the right tools that your hair is going to need tools so your hair uh, isn't damaged you're able to take your wig off and on and it's truly a protective style for you because you know what to do you know what the regimen is and you truly can have healthy hair growth and I had one client, her name was Shanice, and she was transitioning to wearing her natural hair. And the way that she decided to transition was that she wanted to wear a wig because she is in the corporate world. And so she really loves that polished look. And so she, in turn, was leaving uh, her hairstylist because she was moving from a different state and so she ended up uh, connecting with me and I was blessed to be able to be with her on her hair journey as she was making her transition and as I linked up with her I educated her on the proper foundation that she would need so that the transition would go smooth and that she wouldn't be as frustrated dealing with the different textures in hair because she too had had a relaxer and she was letting that grow out and then she was just having difficulty with the products that she was using and she still just wanted to be able to maintain that hair and still be presentable so to speak at corporate and really not have the pressures that come along when you have those type of jobs and just really be yourself. And so I was able to educate her on that and help her to select the type of wigs that she would need and show her how to apply them. And we went through um, a lot more in detail. And if that is something that interests you and you want to find out more about taking care of your hair under your wig, making sure that you have healthy hair growth, knowing how to take care of your wigs so you can make it last and be able to camouflage those thinning areas if you have any, then I'm going to invite you to do my wig maintenance course. And it's a new course that we'll be launching. And right now I'm looking for some beta um, people to take the course. And if that is something that interests you, then I'm going to ask you to go ahead and DM me the word wig beta. And we're going to send you the link so that you can 
go ahead and get on the list and be the first to know when it releases. And we'll definitely send you more details about it. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me today. And I will talk to you.